Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's time for my first collection review of 2016 and we might as well start off with China Glaze. This is the spring collection and it's called the House of Color Collection. There are 12 polishes in this collection and we have a mix of creams, crellies, shimmers, metallic, glitter. They really put a lot of different things in here so I think it's it's going to please um, the majority of people, I think, as a whole. For me, um, kind of half of the collection is something that I wouldn't really gravitate towards. There are a lot of pink things in here. Granted, they are in different finishes and things like that, so they're not like they don't all look the same, but they are a lot of pink. So, per Personally, for me, it's not really my preference. However, I must say that the formula on everything is really good. So if, you know, I'm not going to have a problem with these just because they're not going to perform well, it would just be personal preference about color. Um, actually, all the things that they did put in here I do think are uh, rather pretty. Um, so we're going to go ahead and get started. I'm just going to kind of go through, not in any particular order of things, and we'll take a look, of course, as we do on my channel every time we look at live applications so that you know for yourself what to expect before you purchase, and that's kind of the whole point. So we're going to get started. All right, I'm going to start out with one of the polishes that is not pink. This is the one neutral polish that they put in this collection, and it's called Sorry I'm Latte. This is kind of like a tan, but it does have a blush. Um, insurgents. It does definitely lean a little bit on the cool side and this does have a very nice two coat cream formula so let's take a look at Sorry I'm Latte. The next one I want to talk about, it looks like it could be a white in the bottle, but this is actually a pink. It's a very, very light, white out pink, and it's called Let's Chalk About It. Again, this has a great two coat formula. It's a cream. For a color that's this light, this actually does have a really nice formula. I was not disappointed, um, but it's just like a very, very bright white pink. So um, we're going to look at how it swatches. All right, the next polish that I want to talk about is um, another pink, and it's called Pink or Swim. This is another cream formula. It's definitely just kind of like a light rose. Um, it's a flattering pink on the skin tone. It's kind of dusty. It's not too out there or anything, just kind of a calm pink. So let's take a look at it.
Alright, the next polish I want to show you is a yellow in the collection. So, um, they did actually give us some other things, not just pink, like I said, but um, yes, this one is called Girls Just Want to Have Sun. And again, this is a very like bleached out yellow. It's not a neon or anything, it just has a lot of white in it. And this, again, had a nice formula. It's a cream, so I'm going to show you two coats of Girls Just Want to Have Sun. Alright, next up we're going to look at the one shimmer in the collection and it is a pink. It's kind of a, it's a pinky purple. It's kind of going towards a fuchsia, but it's not super loud. All the colors in here are somewhat subdued. Um, this one is called Shut the Front Door and I actually did really like this one. It is leaning towards purple, so it is going to be something that I might myself gravitate towards, but I did also really like the shimmer in here. Overall, this is a really pretty color, so we're going to take a look at it. Next I'm going to talk about two out of the three Crellies in this collection. The next two are pink polishes and this first one is called About Laying Out and it's kind of a corally pink. I did say this is a Crelly and it does have a very nice formula. So as you can see it's just like it's a coral but it's kind of subdued. It's not super super loud so let's take a look at it. Alright, the second um, Crelly pink that I want to talk about is called In the Near Fuchsia. This is probably the brightest polish in the whole collection. This, like I said, is another Crelly, but it does have a delicious two coat formula, and I thought this was really pretty.
All right, the next one we're going to look at is another pink tone polish, but this is the one metallic that they've given us, and this is kind of a kind of like a rosy quartz color. Um, kind of goes along with the Pantone color of the year. It's not as light as the Pantone color, but it's kind of in that same thread, and it is a metallic. This has a nice, actually, one coat formula. I think this one is really, really great. Pretty typical metallic from China Glaze. It's called Chrome is Where the Heart Is. So let's go ahead and see how it swatches. Okay, so now we're going to talk about the last third of the collection, and I'm going to start out with a blue. I think this is going to probably be the most popular color in this collection because it is a very pretty kind of sea blue with a strong fuchsia flash, and so it's. I think it's really going to attract a lot of attention for being something different. This one is called Come Rain or Shine, has a lovely two coat formula, and the fuchsia flash does pull out very strong. So um, I think a lot of people are gonna be pleased that the color that they see in the bottle is what they're gonna get on the nail. And if you are wondering, this does look quite similar to the color that has this same combination from Color Club, and it was called Bell Bottom Bay from a few years ago. So um, yeah, they are very similar, but they're not like exact dupes for you. Um, but if you can remember that polish, this looks a lot like that. So let's go ahead and take a look at swatching. Right, the second blue I want to talk about is called Don't Be Shallow, and here's the color here. It's just a nice sky blue, but this time they did it in a curly format. Usually China Glaze does these kind of colors with a cream formula, but this time it's a curly formula, so I thought that was really interesting. This does have a nice two coat formula, and I thought it was really lovely, so let's take a look at it. And I want to finish up with the two glitters and I have to say I was really pleased with the glitters that they put in this collection They're really really fun first off. Um, I want to talk about this one here It's called moonlight the night and in the bottle it has a very blue presence But it has a lot of iridescent kind of like fish scale looking colors in here So it's gonna go green copper um, Yellow and blue that's what it's flashing between so this is really really pretty I did Swatch this two coats on its own, but I think I prefer it as a topper. It looks just gorgeous because these glitters are kind of um, kind of see-through, so they layer really nicely. I hope that you'll see what I'm talking about when I swatch it here for you now.
All right, and the last one up that I want to show you, this is called Glitter Me This dot dot dot, and it's a gold glitter with some white and pink hex glitters in there too. So it's like gold of all different sizes, and then they threw white and pink in there too. So I thought that was a really fun way to switch up a gold glitter. I think this is lovely as well as a top. I didn't really like this one on its own either, although I did swatch it that way so that you could see what it looked like. So yes, definitely like this as a topper. Let me go ahead and show you how it swatches now. Okay guys, so that was all 12 pieces of the China Glaze House of Color collection. I hope that you are excited and this has enticed you to um, do a little bit of shopping in this collection and I hope that the live application portion really helped you decide what um, was maybe a miss and what was a hit and what you really need to go in search of. So if I was to give you like my top favorites, I think that I would choose probably these ones. I really liked the glitters, surprise, surprise. I really liked the glitters and this blue with the fuchsia flash. Granted, I do already have the Color Club one, but I think this is a different enough kind of polish that it's worth owning, especially at the prices that you can find um, like on Trans Design and Head to Toe Beauty, which is where I have purchased them before. I know I've kind of rolled through the names of those websites sometimes before, and I've had subscribers tell me, what are those websites you're referencing? Transdesign.com and head to toebeauty.com. They're a place that you can find um, pretty inexpensively China Glaze like through collections way back. So that's a really great place to go search for those and they have a bunch of different brands on there too in case you're interested in other brands going collections far back. So um, yeah, I think those are my favorites. I think I wanna throw this one in there too. This kind of fuchsia um, shimmer that's, it's like a rosy fuchsia. I'll throw that in my favorites too. The rest of them, I have to say all the formulas were really, really great, so they were not in any way disappointing. They were just colors that I've seen quite a bit of and aren't ones that I would say, oh, you definitely have to go get this because it's brand new, anything like that. So, yep, those are my picks. I hope that you enjoyed this video, and if you found it helpful, give me a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe if you aren't already subscribed. I do live application reviews of any collection I can get my hands on, and of course, always let me know in the comments if there is a collection coming out that you would like me to review. Thank you for stopping in and I will see you next time. Bye.